in Asia. Your tour for the day will start with about a 45 minute drive to the lake and then you'll be boarding long wooden boats. The boats will then head out, cutting through the village, giving you ample opportunity to take a lot of shots. You'll have an option of stopping at a couple of places depending on the tour. You might go to a crocodile farm, you might go to uh, an orphanage. It will really depend on what's happening in the village the day that you're out. Access is of course limited by the activity of the people in the village. They are living there, so we have to respect that when touring. Once you clear the village, they'll take you out into the middle of the lake, out in the open. And you'll be thinking, what are we going to do here? Do we get fishing rods? Well, actually, what will happen is some of the local people will come up in boats and offer to sell you pop, fruit, chips, whatever, lots of different things. It's like a little corner store. There's the lady right now. When visiting the lake, you will visit a village. They're quite spread out, not big of course, but when you're told that there were hundreds of other villages on this lake, you get a real feeling for the size of this lake and the amount of people that live on it or around it and along the river banks. Floating buildings have no property rights. As such, the villagers are considered squatters. Even though people have been living there like this for thousands of years, some residents will move their homes seasonally because of lake levels. Entire villages will move on the lake if they are of the floating variety. You'll notice that some of these are permanently on pylons. Those, of course, can't move. I hope you're enjoying our video today. And if you are, please press subscribe, smash down that like button, and don't forget to hit notifications so we can let you know when our next exciting video is coming up. Thanks a lot. Cambodia is a country of many wonders. From the people of Ton Sap Lake to the temples of Angkor Wat. This is living history. Few places in the world can you visit people that are still living the same way that they lived a thousand years ago. Is this how the people lived that built Angkor Wat? Perhaps. I invite you to visit Cambodia before this world is gone forever. Can the people of Tonsap Lake survive the changing times? Only time will tell. Well, thanks for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Our next video coming up will be that of Anger Wat, which is, of course, the main attraction in Siem Reap in Cambodia. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the largest religious structure in the world. So talk to you then.